There's nothing quite like art. It can be expressive, emotional, and sometimes weird. But no matter your opinion, we all need a splash of color in our lives. So let's raid the art supplies and grab our brushes and pens! It's time for a funny color challenge! I wonder what it is. I'm so excited! It's kind of disappointing so far. I know, right? Uh, what's that noise? Surprise? Still nothing. Hello? We're waiting! Whoa! That was pretty cool! Wow, should we open it? Uh, well, it's mine! Hey, hand it over! It was my idea! Don't grab! You're so mean, Chris! Ooh, bubbles! I don't care! But they are pretty! Can I try? <laughs> no. Please! It's so fun! Hey, look at that! This gives me an idea! This'll be so good! Start with a canvas. Then use a roller to apply paint. Make sure to cover the whole canvas. Now take a coffee cup and dip it into white paint. And press onto the canvas. Be as creative as you want! Next, start to add color inside the circles. Try to add different colors for a more realistic effect. We're trying to capture the light in the bubbles. This is looking good! And now for some finer details. Whoa! This turned out amazing! I'm so artistic! Hey, Chris! I have some bubbles of my own! What? Jealous? Can I have it? Let's swap! Give me it! Wow! Huh? Where's the bubbles? It's empty! That's not fair! Oh, <laughs> did I forget to tell you I used all the bubbles? It's not funny! Okay, time for the next challenge! Oh my gosh, a unicorn! I'm so happy! Whoa, dial it back a little. I need to hang out with new people. What are you doing, Chris? <laughs> I'm Princess Sparkles, ruler of the Rainbow Kingdom. Sure, this is a different look for you. Stop. You're ruining this. Let's spin the wheel. This is so awesome! No hands? No problem. Here goes. I'll put mine behind my back. That's actually a good idea. Hmm, I thought this would be more difficult. Not bad. Finished! What do you think? That's certainly… something. What do you know about art? I'll show you how to draw a unicorn. Let me just check the scale. Oh, yeah, I, I always check the scale. Definitely a unicorn. What's he doing now? Hmm, I think I have a plan. This should make things easier. Start with a sheet of grid paper. And start to draw the unicorn. It may look a bit funny at this stage, but trust us. That looks good. Once the outline is done, start to fill in the middle. This is a really good way of drawing something with a lot of detail. Using grid paper allows you to scale up drawings. And it helps to make drawings easier. Time to add color. If only coloring in was this easy. Let's get some more colors in the horn. I told you we knew what we were doing. There! My own unicorn! Check this out! It's good, right? How did you do that? I mean, mine has colors in its hair. <sighs> At least you tried. I know. I've got a good feeling about this one. A love heart! It's so cute! Let's see who spins the wheel. I'm great at thumb wars. Yes! I won! Oh, so close! Please don't be bad. No paper. But how am I supposed to draw? Guess you'll need to figure that out. Watch this. I'll start by drawing a line down the middle. And another one. Then some lines at the top and bottom. And now for the sides of the heart. 
The pencil makes great guidelines for when we start to use ink. Once the basic shape is done, use an eraser to remove the guidelines around the edges. Then grab a pen and just follow the lines. It creates a great 3D effect. Now to add the color. Remember to stay inside the lines. Once that's done, add shadowing to the inside edges. A regular pencil is fine for this. Just add to anywhere you think there would be a shadow, or where you think the light would be different. It's a different way of drawing a love heart, but it looks so impressive! That's it! What do you think? Wow! I mean, it's okay. What can I use? I know! My hands! It's pretty basic. There must be something I can do. Got it! A tiny heart! Huh? How about this? It's a heart! No, it isn't? Sorry. Okay, now what do you think? Ugh, just give up! I know I can do this! Come on, fingers, don't let me down! I think I figured it out! I just need a red pen! Place one finger on top of the other, then draw a love heart. Then simply use a red pen to fill it in. It's not too bad. I like it. Or should I say, I love it. But I'm not finished. Let's add a smiley face. And you need another one for true love. How romantic! Look! Seriously? Aw, that's so cute! Hold on, I have an idea too! Don't ruin it! It'll be great! There! They're hugging! I think I'm gonna cry! It's so sweet! Hmm, which pencil should I use? Blue or green? Look at her. I love you. Mwah, mwah. I'll see you later in my dreams. Whoa! A snail! Cool! Who spins the wheel? I win! Ugh! I was convinced I would win! Come on! No hands? Again? Oh well, I suppose I can do it. Here I go! Maybe I can help. There! Hey! You're doing it wrong! But… how? Oh well, I'll give it a go. Close your eyes. Why are you acting weird? Fine. Luckily I have this blindfold! How do I look? Perfect! This is harder than it seems. You're amazing! I mean, you're doing amazing! I should kiss her. Wait, I can't forget this. You're kidding me! I spent twenty dollars on this! So stupid. Although… I better be quick. Get out of here! Who needs expensive flowers when you have a pen? Just create your own! It's more romantic this way. Just a stem and it's done! I hope she likes it. I have no idea what I've drawn. It's actually pretty good. I mean, it's a snail. I drew something. <laughs> For me? You're much prettier than any rose. You're embarrassing me. But it's so romantic. Art is all about personal taste. But as long as you enjoy it, who cares? We hope these tips inspired you. What's your favorite thing to draw? Let us know in the comments below. And remember to share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fun challenges just like this one!